Good morning. Well, it's departure day. This year's North trip is about to start. It's been terrible overnight. It's blown Georgia's trampoline from one side of the garden all the way to the other side of the garden. So we've got terrible winds to contend with. We've got tons of snow to contend with when we get up north. Probably loads of rain and whatever else it can throw at me. Let's just hope that the wind is blowing out the uh, forecasted weather because it's not looking great. Big lad's already loaded up, ready to go. All I've got to do now is get changed and we're on the road. <sighs> Let's get clobbered up, you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Well, we're cracking on. It has been chucking it down up until here. We're in Hebden Bridge, Ox and Hope. And bloody windy as well. For all in all, it's been a good ride so far. Lovely roads all the way up here, no main roads. It's been eight degrees all the way up here. And I thought I'd leave my heated socks off for today with it being eight degrees. My little, my little piggies are um, questioning that decision now because they're bloody freezing. Got my heated gloves on and uh, heated jacket. So I feel very, very warm. It's nice to get on these ranges again. Hiding out K60 rangers. Full knobbly and there's 70% off-road. So the 70-30 tyre, but it's 70 off-road. And you know this would be perfect in the wet. Total confidence in them. See what they look like when we get home. I'm just starting to settle in. I've been really um, feeling like I shouldn't be doing this trip because of the weather forecast. And I just thought, well, I'll, I'll do the first day and see what happens in terms of uh, you know what it's like once we're up here. But I'm just starting to settle in now and feel like I'm on tour. You cannot beat getting into the countryside. The forecast says tomorrow is going to be round about one degree and you know, snow expected, so we're going to have to take it steady. We have to look after those that look after us, folks. So I want to give a special thank you to all my sponsors with a special mention to B Moto for keeping me and my bikes on the road. There'll be a special link in the description below for B Moto which is directly through me, so they'll know that you'll go through me should you decide to uh, get a quote with them. Full breakdown cover included, breakdown and recovery. Let's hope we don't need it. And a real big thanks to my patrons. But yes, thanks to you guys for enabling me to do more of these trips for you. And today is Friday the 13th of January. So I must be careful. Extra careful, if you're into all that nonsense got about another hour to go well not about another hour exactly another hour I think by the time we get there it'll have been uh, 223 miles I've obviously come a, a long way up not touched any main roads been roads like this all the way up it's been fantastic actually it's been taking it dead steady the winds have just died down a bit if you've never tried heated clothing or if you're too tough for heated clothing, I don't need that. Do yourself a favour and just try it. I've got no discomfort whatsoever. I haven't had this whole trip up. Actually, that's a lie. My toes are cold, so I forgot to put my socks on. My heated socks. Apart from that, my, all my body, I feel great. Oh man, I love being on the road. I love being on the road. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love this, look. Just look at, there's nothing, there's nothing around here. I love it, absolutely love it. These are exactly the kind of roads that I like to be on. Full country roads. 
do love these trips folks, just me and you. I love it, I absolutely love this. I've no idea where I am and I absolutely love it. I miss yellow street lamps. They're changing them now everywhere for these white ones. It just doesn't look the same. Much prefer yellow street lamps, in the countryside especially. This is exactly what I mean about going away on a solo winter adventure. Look. We're not even in Scotland yet. Thank you Garmin Adventurous Route for picking this one. Mega, absolutely mega. We're on the B6413. We're in Castle Carrick. Well, I've been on the road for seven hours. So tonight we're staying at a hotel called uh, the Gretna Chase. It looks nice as well. Gretna Chase, here we go. Nicely tucked out of the way and all, I like it. Fantastic big lad, good lad. Oh, that was a good ride. Very good ride. We made it. Not bad at all. About six o'clock in the evening. Not at all bad room. Plenty of room. Just making myself a pot of tea. and then get everything uh, unpacked and get in a nice warm shower. That's day one. Good morning. Not even had a wash yet. So, I'm just about to leave Gretna Chase Hotel and head to Pit Lockery. And it's from here that the weather is going to turn bad. Um, keep getting warnings, saying it's sub-zero, sleet, snow. I'm just going to plug on and do what we can do. But the main thing about this, just come to the bike this morning, there's a little gift. Behind the windscreen of the bike. And it is from, it says, to Richie and Big Lad, a little something from me and Elmo's last trip north. Stay safe, Bayek and Elmo. That's Heather from Bayek VFR. Thank you so much for that. That's absolutely amazing. And I do like a drop of iron. And that will keep me warm. Maybe that'll be the lifesaver when I get stranded in the middle of Bray Mar. I can just sit and drink that, keep warm. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, I'm going to tuck it away and I'm going to carry on getting packed and go on the road. Thank you very much, Heather. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Lovely. Thanks very much. See you later. Right. Good morning all. Right then, let's go into my trip planner. Save trips. Come pit lock with your clapper. Gretna to pit lockery, new route. Okay, six and a half hours, 230 miles, let's have a look. For those that know the area, some really cool roads today. Let's just hope the weather allows us to uh, closest entry point, calculating the route. Right, so today is the first of uh, the really bad weather, I think. So, who knows, might be worrying about nothing. Kind of history repeating itself. I remember doing this exactly the same last time. Good morning, big lad. Goodbye, England. And good morning, Scotland. We'll see what today brings. Let's be careful. Take our time. Today we're going to make our way up to Pit Lockery. Let's see how we get on. 
So a massive thank you to Heather from Bayek VFR. Instagram link below. Woke up this morning to a little gift on my windscreen. A little bottle of Aaron whiskey. And a little note saying uh, good luck at North. Thank you very much. What a very thoughtful gift. All I'm going to have to do for the next two days is just be really mindful of the temperature because it's going to drop. I've got to say, Scotland is definitely one of my favourite places to visit. Definitely. The dark sky town of Moffat. First flood to ride through. I'm sure it's not going to be the last. As you can see, this time of year is very packed with tourism and people going about the daily business. Why would you want to go to Scotland in January? That's why. And again, you know, you see different things in the winter than you would in the, in the summer. Don't get me wrong, we all like hot, sticky, dry roads and, and uh, summer riding gear. But it's a different kind of experience when you strap all your winter stuff on. Oh, look at this now, look. starting to look like the Scotland that we know and love. Let's just take a minute to look at our surroundings. It is worth it. Oh, this is a lovely road. this is we're on the A708 from Moffat they are not swimming she is swimming they are swimming <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not getting in. <laughs> you two are brave. <laughs> I was just riding up there thinking, surely they're not swimming. <laughs> oh, two seconds. <laughs> Here's me with heated clothing on and you two are there oh, swimming. We sat in that car, I thought we were going to do it. The guy came, and he was standing, putting more and more layers on. We think we're stripping off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Idiots. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you just going to run up? Where you I'm going to the Outer Hebrides. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pit, pit lockery today and then Ullapool tomorrow and then from Ullapool over to Stornoway. Oh, where'd you come from? Derbyshire. Yeah, I rode up yesterday. Oh, oh fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stunning. Have you been up there before? I've not been to the Hebrides and I went to the Shetland Islands last year, so. I went to Shetlands, uh, was it last summer? Yeah, there's this, there's orcas, right? Oh, yes. The chances of seeing it are very very slim so the trip was about finished you know i've done all all up and down shetland you know and uh, just waiting for my ferry back at lerwick and uh, i could see a bit of a kerfuffle with people like what's going please say so i just got my dslr out of the bag and they were just all swimming and just and i'm just stood there, stood there crying thinking what the hell you know what an amazing end to an amazing trip 
Yeah. I'm sure the islands must be lovely for motorbiking. Yeah, well, let's hope so. I mean, I know it's forecast a lot of snow today and tomorrow, so we'll we'll see. Yeah. But yeah. I'll keep plugging away and see if I can get up there. And if I do, then bro. But yeah. <laughs> go and get yourself dressed. I bet you're freezing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna Another I'm gonna plug my heated clothing back in. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm the same helmet. Have you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying. DCT, yeah. Yeah, DCT, yeah. yeah. I was just saying to the ladies there, they're in there swimming and I'm sat here with heated clothing on. <laughs> is it any good that I've never used? It's amazing. It's a game changer, really is. So, heated gloves, heated jacket, heated socks. You just plug it in and yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Makes all the difference to a winter ride. You know, you can. If you take the, you know, the bit that you don't like about it out. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually follow you. Oh, mate, brilliant. On Instagram. And oh, fantastic. Let me have a picture Yeah, do, mate. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. You'll be on the channel if you're happy to be on there, yeah? Oh, then. Are you happy to be filmed? Because yeah, you'll be on there. I'll put you on if you want. Yeah, oh, brilliant, mate. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, I'm good man. You. Yeah, that's what I'm on my way up there now, yeah. I'll get a move on, mate, but yeah. Thanks for saying hello. Cheers, bud. Take care. Thank you. Aww. Nice bit of scenery there, folks. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the lake. <laughs> oh, dear. Let me give you guys a clean there. There we go. And you up here. No, ah, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, good honour for swimming in it. Obviously, if I'd have brought my um, water shoes that I bought for Iceland for the hot springs, if I'd have brought them with me, I'd have, of course, I'd have, I'd have gone in for a swim then. I got them with me, so I can't. <laughs> They're stood there in the bikinis, and I'm sat here with heated clothing on. Brilliant, brilliant. I just realised this road is the road I was talking to my uh, Graham up in Glasgow. Sent him the route for today for him to um, have a nosy at. And he said, oh, from Moffat, take a right and go around the locks. So, Graham, thank you very much. This is the road that you sent me on, mate. I wanted to realise that. And we're taking a left here. Oh, amazing, bloody amazing. Really nice when people wish you a safe trip. Really, really nice. Thank you to all those that have wished that. The lady just said it there. I was about to ride off. But yeah, but thank you to all those that have um, wished me that along the route. Thank you very much. Welcome to Megat Reservoir. There's definitely no shortage of water at the moment. Oh, folks, <laughs> we're back. <sighs> Absolutely mega. See, it's really not about the destination, is it? We're going to the Hebrides, and I'm sure it'll be amazing, but the ride up is equally amazing. This is exactly, exactly where I want to be. Let's 
Yeah, I ain't good. Yeah, you can really feel the cold when you take your gloves off. Look at this. That's a bit like the entrance into Geiranger Fjord in Norway. When you drop down to it and the big cruise liner backed up there. Because you're just running all the way down there to that old bridge and then into the lock. Absolutely amazing. Look at this little house here down here. What a place to live. Look at this. Christ on Wallen and the circle. Thing is, you know when it's this beautiful, you struggle to you struggle to get on. Because you just um, constantly see an image, so you have to stop. Oh this is just absolutely amazing. any better feeling than being out on the road on an adventure and not knowing what's in front I don't think so this is just lovely so is that house <gasps> oh my god look at that pad it's nestled in the countryside lucky people no not lucky you make your own luck successful good on you this is why you can't get on ever <laughs> as a creator <laughs> but whilst the weather's playing ball I ought to make it put a bit of effort in didn't I right, let's get a move on well my kid and I'll go around the corner and see something else and need to stop the thing is, you know, again, coming back to coming up here, when you really don't, this time of year, and everything is telling you not to regarding weather, I just think, as I said before, you just need to take a chance. You know, and if, if it does turn, then it turns, and we adjust accordingly, but to not come up, I'm blown away. Blown away. Right. So this is my first time in Dunblane. And what we're about to go and see is not something I want to talk about. I just want to come here to pay my respects as I've wanted to do for such a long time. Um, if you're not familiar with this place, I suggest you just go on to Google and ask because when we get there I don't really want to say anything I just want to take a moment to pay my respects
say God bless the bands of Dunblane for a lot of years. God bless you. Heading now to the Bridge of Valgi. In this torrential weather, <laughs> temperatures still around about seven degrees. The rain's obviously picking up, and the wind is picking up. I can deal with this. It stays like this till we get there. I'll be uh, happy. It's just when the temperature starts to really drop. I'd be a bit worried, especially with this much water about. It's alright having a bit of frost, but if we have a freeze on top of all this water, then we're just uh, asking for trouble. Well, folks, I think if you're watching thus far, you're perhaps going to just have to get used to a little bit of water on the lens, because I think there's going to be a lot of it during this trip. I'll try my best to keep it clean, but... Snow plow. And grit, good luck. Seeing the snow plows a little bit off putting, but being hit by all the grit after is good. But to say I'm impressed with these gloves and the waterproofness of them because these were classed as 100% waterproof, and so far they are. You know, this just, just all this, everything about this just makes me happy. I'm in the middle of Scotland. It's absolutely pissing it down and I'm just happy as a pig in muck. I'm totally warm because of my clothing, totally dry. Just loving every second of it. I'm very, very, very grateful of all this decent gear, riding gear. I am absolutely bone dry from head to foot and totally warm. It's an absolute game changer, heated clothing is. I've got no discomfort whatsoever, nothing. My feet are nice and toasty, my hands are toasty, my body's really nice and warm. Look down there. Wow! Bit of a roller coaster road. Police unmarked motorcycles in operation. I bet you're not out today, boys and girls. <laughs> Every, just everywhere is flooded. Hope you're enjoying this from the warmth of your office or living room, wherever you're viewing it from. Dropped to four degrees now. getting shot you swine this little storm curtain I've got across my uh, jacket came with it I've just never used it never needed it I just thought I'm definitely zipping it back on for this trip but it, it acts as um, like another wind barrier as well so I've got no wind getting into my jacket at all you know you wear your neck ball for your balaclava or whatever but then you put your jacket on so there's nothing to stop air getting in between your jacket top and your balaclava Whereas this is the balaclava's on, then my heated jacket, which is zipped right up to my balaclava. Balaclava's down inside, I mean. And then the jacket's on with this storm curtain wrapped around my like chin, which is on the outside, so wind's just being deflected straight off it. I'll put the fire up over there. Whoa! How aggressive this is. Last time we came here there were people stood on all these rocks. 
heading towards Aberfeldy now. I think these tyres will go up with my uh, best so far. I'm not treated for snow or ice during the winter period. Mm, careful then. Oh, we're going right up into it. Is that ice? No, I don't think so. This might be a mistake. Yeah, I'm going to turn around. This is uh, not ideal, is it? And it's not treated at all, so... Yeah. That's like I've got loads of snow very quick. So I'm going right down while well, I can still get down. Just uh, get to the bottom, reset nav. Yeah, I'm not stupid. And that's only going to get higher. And you see how quick this snow has just come on. Just because we've gained altitude into this, that got deep quite quick actually there. I need to relax now to be back all tense. Just think, uh, had I carried on there, it's only asking for trouble. At least I made uh, a decision to uh, take myself out of that there then. Look at the layer there, so it's green, green, green up to white. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, we're getting slushy, I think we are. More snow than rain, I think, coming down. Yeah, definitely. Keep my eye on that traction control. We've got it set to the highest. Power still set to the highest as well. But it's a good way of testing um, the roads that you're on. Just keep your eye on your traction. And every now and then when it's safe to do so, like a straight bit, just give it some. Yeah, she's alright, yeah. Okay, the visor's covered already. Jesus, got 17 miles to go yet. Four degrees. I'm crapping myself now. If it just carries on, if it just stays like this, I'll be alright. But I am um, really, really cracking myself. The windscreen is completely covered in snow. I was really, really panicking up there then. Just weird how quick it all comes. God, it's rough. Really cranky pit lockery. 
fingers crossed and it's all the snow for today and it's all right it's just the fact that you're on your own and if something happens you you're screwed aren't you and as you've seen there's no next to no traffic so if you do come off and you're struggling to lift it back up because of the snow and lack, lack of friction then how long could you stay up there for and then it's just getting worse I just think if that happens again not to worry because the tires didn't move the tires the tires bit through that perfectly so it's just um, a matter of yeah taking your time and I'm just uh, really hoping for the best but try not to panic best lights in the world three miles remaining two miles to pit lockery oh thank goodness for that i've loved every second of this today just that little bit up there where i worried i can see the hotel on my map thank goodness right folks we're in pit lockery the hotel is just around the corner Thank you very much for watching today. It's actually a country house, I think. Well done. Pine Trees Hotel. Here we are. Oh goodness for that. That's been a tough one. I can make a nice photo. Ah oh dear me. That's been a very good day. Evening. Hello, how are you doing? I'm alright, how are you? Yeah, do you want to do it? Otherwise I'm going to get wet yeah. everywhere. Uh, it's a Romeo Oscar 69 Zulu Foxtrot Kilo. It's right outside this door. Oh, lovely, thank you very much. Did you have any stuff? I've got loads of stuff to bring in actually, so I thought I'd get all this wet stuff off and then and then uh, bring bring other stuff, other stuff up. Thank you. So here we are at the UK. Lovely. Here as well. So up until about midnight tonight. Okay, cool, yeah. Here's the next one where you're here with the service style breakfast, which is served from 8 until 10. Perfect, yeah. Lovely. Okay. Hey. It's a lovely building. Yeah, it's lovely. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Cheers. Wow. Let's get these. Get this lid off.
can't believe how deep this is. Please don't write me, Glad. There's one thing, this is absolutely beautiful. 